And welcome back. Time now for your lunchtime sports. Teenager triple jumper sensation Jaden Hibbert has become the first Jamaican to win the prestigious Bowman Award in the USA. The award, which is given to the most outstanding male and female collegiate athlete of the year, was presented at a glitzy ceremony in Denver, Colorado on Thursday night. The other men's finalists for 2023 with Hibbert were multi-event athletes Kyle Garland from the University of Georgia and Leo Nauber from the University of Texas. 18-year-old Hibbert is also the first freshman to ever win the award and second from the University of Arkansas after Jarian Lawson in 2016. This moment is truly a dream come true and I could say that it definitely made up for what happened in Budapest. As I look on the surface of this prestigious award, I see a reflection of a kid that God did not and will not give up on and is also a reminder of how he can transform you from nothing to something great. Hibbert swept the NCAA and SEC titles in the triple jump indoors and outdoors as a freshman and set two collegiate records. The former Kingston College standout won the NCAA, the NCAA indoor title with a leap of 17.54 meters to break the previous collegiate record set in 1986. And at the SEC outdoor championships, he left 17.87 meters to break the previous mark set in 1982. It was Caribbean delight on the night as uh, former St. Catherine High standout Julian Alfred of uh, at uh, the University of Texas, well, she took home the Women's Award. Back home now, Homo Technical and the Queen's School secured their respective All-Island Senior and Junior titles as uh, the curtain came down on the ISA netball season at the National Indoor Sports Center on Thursday. Homo Technical secured the senior title with a 45-42 win over St. Catherine High. Jadine Swaby leading the way for Homo with 33 goals from 35 attempts. Support coming from Kalia Wright, who scored 17 from 21. For St. Catherine, Kelly and Hunter led the way with 25 from 31 attempts. Attempts. Meanwhile, the Queen's School, well, they captured the junior crown, beating Manchester High at 21-18. In cricket, it is honours eve now after two days of the first test between hosts Australia and Pakistan in Perth. Pakistan reached 132 for two in their first innings reply at Stumps. They trailed by 355 runs. Imam ul -Haq was 38 not out at the close. Abdul Shafiq has so far top scored with 42, while captain Shan Masood made 30. Earlier, Australia were dismissed for 487 in their first innings after zooming on 346 for five. Mitchell Marsh carried on to a sparkling 90 from his overnight 15 in an innings, laced with 15 fours, while Alex Carey made 34 after zooming on 14. Pesa, Amir Jamal on debut, ended with six for 116 for the Pakistanis. And some football news now, Reggae Boys manager Roy Simpson says the national program is in line for financial assistance from FIFA come 2024. Uh, this was among the revelations made at a media briefing held at the Jeff F. headquarters on Thursday. The local governing body highlighted their achievements in 20, uh, 2023 and also outlined their plans for the upcoming year. Among the highlights for 2024 will be the Reggae Boys participation at the Copa America tournament set for June 20 to July 14 and the FIFA World Cup qualifiers starting on June 3. There will also be the CONCACAF Nations League semifinals in the first quarter of the year. Meanwhile, the reggae girls will have five available FIFA windows to get in some much-needed practice as they seek to get their program back on track after a mixed 2023. General Secretary Dennis Chung added that the women's football will get a much-needed boost for 2024. And that's uh, the final whistle for now, and I am Jeremy Brown. Shane, back to you. Thanks, Jeremy. And that's the Midday News. I'm Shane Masters. Join us at 7 for Primetime News. On behalf of the news, sports and production teams, have a good afternoon.